so yes I'm in the same sweater as the other video I recorded the other day but guess what that's because it's from the same night it was just a whole nother thought and I didn't want to have a 20 minute video when I could just make two 10 minute videos so it was good <laughs> okay anyway so in this portion or you know section of this night that I'm in now talking to you um, the other thought that I had aside from the last video I made when I was um, sitting down here in this outfit <laughs> talking about past partnerships and karmic relationships was this realization that like just aside from the idea that because I was thinking, you know, people who don't have one of their parents present in their life, thinking that just because someone is present means there's love there. I also took it a step further and I was like, so then think about that as just like the preface and then actually going into the details of a relationship. There are so many fucked up things that you could also allow someone to do to you because you don't know that they're fucked up. You're just like, oh, okay, first of all, you're like, okay, well, everything's good because they're here, so that we're good, check, they're here, that must mean they love me. And then they're doing all this shitty stuff, and you're like, you don't know what to do with it. You're like, and they're like, please forgive me, I'm sorry I did this, I'm sorry I did that, yada, 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 and you're just like, well, they haven't left, they're not gone, so they want to work on this. Like, you, you're, at, you're thinking that these apologies and begging, oh, let's, can we make this work, is because they really want to stay, when really they just want to continue manipulating you and taking advantage of you, especially because a lot of times when people decide to stay with one person and then, like, have these other little situations happen, and they don't want to just leave the original thing and go to these other things, is because they are, like, kind of vampiric in nature, or they do have that ulterior motive where... It's like, well, I want to have my cake and eat it too. Or like, I can be with you and also be with her. Why well, just be with one when I can be with multiple? But, you know, I can't tell you that because then you would leave me. So they can't tell you about this other person because they know if they told you, you would leave. So they don't tell you. So that way you'll stay so he can take advantage of you. Or she. Um, and so I'm thinking about this, I was just like, so then I thought about all the things that may have happened in relationships I was in, and whether or not, like, it was really fucked up or not, and with the realization that just because someone is present doesn't mean they love you, had me look at the relationship completely different. So if I'm looking at my, like, one of my relationships and I'm like, okay, aside from the fact that they were there, now that I know being there doesn't mean that they love me, my next level of measurement would be like, so what did they do for me? What did they, how did they, what, how did they treat me? What did they say to me? Did they encourage me? Like, were they interested in me? Did they like try to help me grow? What was really going on in the relationship? And if you're looking at the relationship and you recognize like, aside from them just being there, that they were never motivating you or encouraging you or loving you or sharing things with you or being intimate or vulnerable with you or wanting to like explore with you or learn with you or do anything with you more on a more intimate level than just being there and then like you know casually taking you know liberties physically or something like that that it's like okay so they weren't like that wasn't really like a good relationship <laughs> or you're just like damn I deserve so much better than that how did I let myself just like take that and call that love you know what I mean especially too like I don't understand it because I've I've fantasized, romanticized so many, like, movies, and, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, oh, wow, that's, that's so beautiful, and, like, I'm, it's funny now that I think about it, to think about other people who've had healthy ideas of love, or they've seen healthy romantic partnerships with, like, their parents and stuff, where they're like, oh, okay, um, this is love, this is actually love, it's good for me, and so when they see these movies with this you know, these scenes, they're thinking of these scenes completely different than someone who's never seen that. Like, they may have seen something kind of close to that where they're just like, oh, that's cheesy. And you're like, why do they think that's cheesy? Like, that's fucking beautiful. Or, you know, you're, you're thinking that, like, they don't know what love is. When in reality, you could just be romanticizing it super heavily because you don't think that it's attainable. You know what I mean? That's kind of a tangent. But anyway, so I was thinking about this and I was like, Okay, so now that I'm recognizing these patterns, I need to go ahead and establish what I do truly want, what I do truly think I deserve. And from there, you recognize that there are so many people who would not have qualified in the past based on these new standards you've set for yourself. You're like, damn, I set my bar like way too low. And um, I do know like 
one of my one of my issues is like my favorite like romantic movie or like you know the lovey-dovey kind of stuff my favorite movie is before sunrise before sunset and before midnight and i've romanticized that movie so heavily because i just feel like and the movie i don't know if, if anyone watching this channel watch, watches movies like i do um or the kind of movies i do but it's basically three movies that um have a like couple well they aren't they don't start as a couple it's two strangers who meet on a train and they just start having conversation and they travel all throughout like i don't want to kind of i don't want to ruin it so like but it's like really good and it's just like it's just a very nice view of what i think a beautiful relationship would be it's like something wrong like that that seems like not over dramatized and like totally achievable and completely beautiful even if it's not super like you know hollywood-esque i was like that's fucking magical i want that and so watching that all the time romanticizing it over and over and over again i was really kind of just dis like disappointing myself because i was like why am i not getting this why am i not getting anything like that but I was romanticizing that and not recognizing that I also wasn't allowing for a person who could bring that to me to even come in because I was only allowing relationships that were very low vibrational relationships that were based on, oh, they're just here versus having this system or this tier now where I'm recognizing all these things I truly deserve in a relationship. So now maybe I'll get that. Maybe I'll get my before sunrise, sunset, midnight. I'll let you know. Um, maybe it can come in now. But I just think you should check, definitely check out those movies. Sorry, I'm like really trying not to turn this into like a talk about just these movies because like I can feel my body is like just talk about movies now and I'm really trying to stick to the message. But I really recommend you check out those movies too or like really think about um, your relationships and like really look at, okay, take out the fact that they're just there. Take out the fact that you see them or they come visit you or come hang out with you. Take away that aspect and then look at what they do for you. Look at the details of that. Don't think, oh, well, they come and hang out with me. No, don't think that that means, like, love. Take that out and then just reflect, so when they come hang out with me, what are we doing? Are we just vegging out and they're not inspiring me? They're not being creative with me? They're not pushing me to go and do that class that I'm thinking about or, you know, encouraging you to go check out that musical store and pick up an instrument, like... See if they're really like doing things that like help you grow, that help you thrive. And if they're not doing those things, then I highly recommend that you you kind of reflect a little bit more on like, is this bringing me true joy? Is this bringing me everything that I truly deserve? I just really hope that if anything, the message resonated with you in some part that you've gotten something that can help you to grow or shift or change and become a better version of yourself. I really wanted to just share my thoughts because I thought they'd be helpful for others. And yeah, okay. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you have a beautiful day or night, wherever you are. And yeah, okay. I will see you guys next time. Peace and love.